I have three tips for cross-examining witnesses. Tip number one is that you should be brief. And this is because if you're not brief, nobody's going to remember the questions that you asked. If you keep your cross-examination short, three minutes, maybe five minutes, um, everybody's going to remember the questions that you asked and the answers that you got. Also, this is a often, usually, a hostile exchange. And the longer it goes on, often the more contentious it becomes. And if you're asking questions for 15, 20 minutes or more, um, it's just going to devolve into an argument. So you want to avoid that. The second point is that you should not ask the witness for conclusions. You should have the point that you want to make in your mind and you should ask questions leading up to that point but you should not then ask the witness to reach the conclusion that you want and in fact I made this mistake yesterday um, and I know better and I still made the mistake I was questioning a probation officer I asked four or five questions it was pretty obvious the point I was leading to and then foolishly I asked, so doesn't that mean, or wouldn't you conclude? And she said, no, I wouldn't see it that way. And then she gave her spin on it. Um, so lead up to your point with the witness. Don't ask the witness to make your point for you or to reach a conclusion. Instead, wait till your closing argument and make it then. And the last point is... If the witness is harming his case by the way he presents himself or the, the way he's talking during cross-examination, just let him do it. Don't interrupt him. Now, when you, when you go to trial, whether it's criminal or civil, often the type of people who go to trial are adversarial contentious, aggressive people. In many cases, they are very stubborn, uh, very pig-headed, and that is going to show when they start running their mouth at trial. So a lot of lawyers, <clears throat> they want to seem like they're in command of the situation and, and taking charge of the, the witness, and, and they'll snap and say, you know, answer the question, yes or no, this or that. But if the person's going to come across as an abrasive, obnoxious person, then let him do it and wait for the judge to step in and say, Mr. Witness, answer the question, stay on point, something like that. All right, don't interrupt, just let him run on. Right, so those are my three points. I've written a blog post on this, and I'll put it in the description below.